Greetings and welcome back to Hydraneer. Today we're going to take care of automatic smelting and we're going to start handling gems. But first, in our previous episode we added to our initial automation by adding sorting. And we're doing that with the conveyor belts that have the splitting technology. That being whatever you put here, in this case iron, is going to go this way. Everything else is going to go that way. So at the moment, all the iron is going to go there, the gold's going to go there, the power shards are going to go there. Now, in the case of the gems, I had to put one of each kind in order to filter. If you just put an uncut ruby, well, the rest of them will go that way. And at the moment, the only thing that's going this way is the cloudium. Now, if an onyx showed up, an onyx would go into that pail too because it's not being filtered because I don't have any onyx right now. What we're going to do is, first things first, we're going to take care of this situation because even though it has made me money, it has made me money, we did some purchases, including something expensive, and I still do have money. I have about 4300 or something like that, and I am spending money on these because they're starting to get expensive. Uh, but what I have to do is I have to pick it up, and then I have to dump it in the crucible and hope I got it all in there. Otherwise, I'm going to be picking them in, put it in there, and then when that's cooked, I'm going to pick up the crucible and pour it in there. Yeah, as, as opposed to just clicking on this thing and getting the ingot, which is what I want. It's going to be a simple enough thing. The gem situation might be a little bit complex. Now, I mentioned these guys over here. See, here's the thing. I have repaired these, so they're at 100%. What I have found is that when the, uh, the drill reaches zero and is broken, this guy here, if you fix him at the same time, is 50%. So it seems that for some reason, this takes double the damage or this takes half the damage. However, I have mitigated that a bit. Now I had one filter and now I have three. Uh, the reason is, is because these guys break too. For instance, this one, I just kind of replaced it. I shouldn't say replaced it. I uh, repaired it. That one's at 91. That one is at 86. And that one is at 65. Now, the thing is that the one in the front is going to take the most damage because there's no filtered water going on. This one's going to partially filtered. And this one, not so bad. And the rest of it, hopefully, it has made a difference in terms of the, uh, the harvester and the drill. It really has. Uh, by the way, the one thing that I did learn, let me put this down, is make sure you have the valve over here before your filters. See, if I had the filter over there like I did before, I should say the valve, turn that off. These guys are still going to get damaged because there's water flowing through it, even though it's not flowing all the way through. So basically intake, valve, that's pretty much the way you should do it. And you can see I move this over here. And as a matter of fact, I actually made a small um, power shard ingot. I think I only threw about six in there because I just wanted something more than just a shard. And of course, I have a step so I can just drop it in there because it is a bit high in the air. I might be using this for something. We'll talk about that at the end. Anyway, I also made, I made some purchases over here, but one rather important one for what I want to do is I have the common pickaxe. It is a tier two. And hopefully it digs a lot better than the other one, which I think is still down there. And we'll just cover it up. All right, so here's what I want to do. We're going to get these pails out of here. All of this is empty, except, of course, for those. These guys are empty. So I don't want to do this anymore. What we're going to do is I'm going to dig holes in here because these guys, of course, we want things to drop into them. And that is the reason that I have the little funnels over there, right? All right, so let's... Uh, Let's dig a hole. And I do have some blocks to maybe look, make it look a little bit better, you know. But function first, right? All right, let's just do this because we do have to be able to reach the... Um, let me see here. I'm not really sure how much deep is good. We'll try that here. Hold it a second. Let me just see if that fits in there. All right, let's see. Oh, oh okay, rotate. Boom. Okay, that's going to be good. All right, let me dig the other one. All right, let's dig that other one. All right. Of course, I'm going to ha probably have to have a little bit more room in the front here, all right? Let's just clear some of this out here. Probably, like, show the bottom there or something like that. Uh, probably take that out too, right? 
All right, let's see if that fits in. All right, yep, it does. Okay, it's a little ugly, but you can see the way that works. It's gonna drop in there, it's gonna cook in there because they're already going, and then when you click on it, it'll pour what it has into the mold so you can instantly get an ingot. All right, let's just uh, see about making this a little, oh, whoops. Here, right, there we go, there we go. Like I said, I'll, I'll work on cleaning it up. But again, this is not our permanent mine, right? This is, we're learning, we're trying to make a lot of money. We might just buy all new stuff eventually, right? All right, and of course, I don't want any spillage, so we're going to take the funnel, and we're going to put that there, and then we're going to take the other funnel, and we're going to put that there. Now, I am going to need that same setup in the future for the power shards, which we're going to make into ingots, by the way, and of course, the, uh, the cloudium. Now, the gems are a different matter, but let's just see how this is going here, right? All right, let's just kick this on. And remember, that first one was 90%. Hold it a minute. Let's just see here. Where is it here? The first one was 91, I believe. All right, 91. Now it's, yeah, 91, and this one is 85. Keep that in mind. All right, and we'll turn this on. There we go. And iron. Okay, and I think we heard a splash. Let me hammer these guys into place because I don't want to accidentally pick up anything, if you know what I mean. Bloom, 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 bloom. Okay, so that's all nice and solid. Okay. And you can hear the little sizzle. All right, we're going to let that go for a while. And we're going to talk about gems. Now... I got this. The way it used to be is you could put uncut gems in there and it would automatically turn them into uh, big gems, right? The idea is you put gems in there, a whole bunch of like little sapphires, it makes one big sapphire. So you can put that on a ring and uh, sell it for a lot of money. It's a lot better than dealing with a whole bunch of little ones. Here's the thing. Compresses cut gemstones. Use either hand lever or logic. Which means that I would have to take each one of these, and believe me, there's a lot in there, and every one of these, and there's, believe me, there is actually a lot of them in there, and walk them over here one at a time and do the cut. No, no, we're not doing that. Fortunately, they have provided us something. So remember we had a centralizer here? This guy right here. Basically, it makes sure everything goes down the middle. We have another one over there. Well, they have this too. This is the gem polisher hook. Hooks onto a conveyor belt, polishes gems to pass through. So basically, we need the conveyor belt to have the gems coming out over here, put them in there, probably centralize them again, and then have them drop into there automatically. Of course, we have to do some things. One, we're going to have to change the configuration here, right? What it is, is, and somebody suggested I probably should do this, and yeah, this is what I'm gonna be doing. We wanna take these guys out, and we wanna put Cloudium there, so that the Cloudium would go in here instead of down here. That way, everything that comes through here is gonna be a gem, including Onyx. See, I can't filter for Onyx right now, because I don't have it. And I really don't want it mixing in with a whole bunch of Cloudium if I leave this thing going for a long period of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to Cloudium and we're going to put our Cloudium pan over there and we're going to hold on to that for now. All right. By the way, how is this going over here? Okay, 81 and 77. So this one is degrading faster. Slightly faster, but it is degrading faster. All right, so let's turn this off. All right. And then let's turn this off because we're going to have to rebuild. As a matter of fact, am I going to need more piping? I might. I might need more piping. All right. So let's see. Um, oh, by the way, why don't we just check to see what we have right now? All right. So iron. Okay. That's small. Okay. And gold. That's small too. Uh, let's just grab this and we'll put it over here. I mean, it wasn't running very long. Oh, 100 and, 112. Oh, see, that's the reason I wanted the other things hammered into place. Oh, and I put it backwards. I'll worry about that later. 
All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to drop that back in there. You can do that. And this one probably isn't a lot better. And that's the reason I wanted to hammer it into place is because if I just I was off by a little, I'd be picking up the whole smelter and what a mess that would be, right? And we'll put that there. And that was 184, right? Not anywhere near good enough. So we're just going to throw that back in there, right? So we're going to let that go and we're going to get bigger ingots, right? Especially now these guys are doing much better. Where is my magnifying glass? All right, that one's 97. That one is 95. Believe me, they would be like in the 80s now if I hadn't put those filters in. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. All right, first things first. Let's grab these and throw them in here because we're not doing that. All right, why don't we pull these? Because we still have to find a way to get these done. It's probably going to be a mess, but we can do it. All right, so we're going to take this, and we're going to put this over here. I uh, probably should move it back a little bit. That's good. And, of course, we're going to take one of those chunks, and we're going to put it up here. So now the Cloudium will go that way. And we do need cloudium. Cloudium is how we make our tier two drill and harvester. Maybe something else too. Okay, so what are we going to do? We're going to do some fixing here, some adjusting. And yeah, you didn't hear any splashing because I did get a cork. But I don't think we're going to need the cork. As a matter of fact, I'm beginning to think that we may need another one of these. All right. Here, let's move them over here. In other words, I may need a third one. That's what I'm thinking. Boom. Um, yes, I absolutely will need it. All right. I actually made a uh, quick trip back so that my money is... Actually, is my money here? No, my money is over here. Right, because I need these guys for repairs a lot. So you kind of have to make money. But I mean, you can see I did make money and I did buy things. So uh, they made some big ingots for me because I let it go for a while before breaking. So, I mean, it was actually quite useful. Uh, we need the curly one. There we go. That should do... Okay, can I get that, please? There we go. I was a pixel or two off. Okay, because the thing is, we're going to need to get water into this thing because it also functions by water. All right, so here's what we're going to do. Is this... Uh, I can just take that. All right, I didn't hammer that in. The rest of it's hammered in, except the, oh, the pipe's hammered in. Yeah, these things get attached to the pipes, by the way. It's a weird situation. All right, so first things first. Um, what we're going to do is... is This This is the... Um, where is it over here? Is this the gem cutter? Yeah, there's the gem cutter. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to attach that there. All right, so everything that passes the cloudium at this point is going to be a gem. So it's going to get cut. The thing is that uh, I want to make sure it's going straight. So that's the reason I have an extra conveyor. And then I also have the, um, I'm going to use the centralizer I took off of this. All right, but I do need to do some piping here. All right, hold a second. T? No, it's Y. There we go. All right, and then we can just put this guy on. And it is facing the right direction. All right. That is where the centralizer goes. All right. So gems here, uncut gems will go through here, get cut, and then they'll be centralized. That way I can have them go in here. Thing is, I, I don't think that they'll go in this way. And that's where the pipe is there, you know. So I'm thinking that way. You know, and we can take it around that way and the handle is available to me, you know. So let's see about doing this. Uh, not that way. That way. That's the way I'm thinking. I'm hoping we're not going to have a problem with this because putting it underground because of this really isn't an option. So we're going to have to see how that goes. All right. But I do need to get the uh, water into here. So that's the reason I needed a third one of these. Boom, and I'm going to hammer all these into place as soon as I'm done. Uh, why? Nope, I did that wrong. T. There we go. Okay, so where's my hammer? Because it's hammer time. All right, um, hammer that. That one's already hammered. Hammer that. 
Hammer that. Hammer that. Okay, that should work right now. And we can test it to a degree. Let's turn this on. This will turn the conveyor belts on, right? Okay, because what I want to do is let's grab one of these. Let's go over here and then just drop that there. Ooh, 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 there we go. Okay, and it turned it into a cut gem. It's going down the middle and it plopped right inside. There we go. Um, I'm asking for trouble, ain't I? Yeah, I am. I'm asking for trouble. Yeah. Yep, I am asking for trouble. Okay, well, that part works. Uh, obviously, I did a little bit too much there. I think I lost some on the other side here. Hold on. I think there's some inside. It's just that... Hold it a second. Here it is. I got to be careful with this because I don't want to mess up anything else. Hello, I'm trying to do magnetizing. No, nothing? Yeah, why don't we get these out of here first? The magnet can do a lot of damage. But I'm pretty convinced... Okay, I guess I was wrong. Okay, I guess I was wrong. It all went in there. I was thinking that I had missed, uh, and it went in there. Okay, so this one goes here. That's good. And then this one goes in here like this. There we go. Okay, let's turn on the drill. There we go. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of these guys in here. So... You can see it's being cut. So this is what this one does. Right, so now we have three big ones. We have a big old ruby, we have a big old emerald, and a big old sapphire. So um, let me just take those out for the moment. And by the way, you can keep compressing them and keep making them bigger. So how much is this guy worth? All right. Okay, that is, I did broke this. Okay, 356. Keep that in perspective for a moment. That one little onyx was 532. That's how rare and valuable they are. These guys are probably not too far off that, right? Okay, and there comes a, uh, a sapphire right there. He will merge with that sapphire. Okay, then we have an emerald. Anything else coming? See, the thing is, if I do this then they just became bigger. So if you let this go for like a long time, then you'll end up getting um, big ones. And you can put those on the jewelry and the jewelry will be worth a lot more, especially if you let this go and get some really big ingots, right? And unfortunately, it does seem to be getting dark. Oh, and by the way, I actually did go looking to see if there was a mod somebody did to... Um, allow you to set the time of day and have it never change. Unfortunately, that does not seem to exist. I mean, is there a purpose to it being as dark as it is right now? I have to wait for the sun to go over the tree line. I can't do anything about it. I can't cut the trees down. It's just that uh, it doesn't really add anything to the game. It just kind of makes things annoying, doesn't it? Okay, so this is a setup that seems to be working pretty well now. Now, I am going to need another smelter, two more smelters actually, and two more funnels for one, the power shards, because we do want to make them into ingots so we can use them. They're not something that we sell, they're something that powers our system. Like, where is it? This one over here, right? Big, big ones and they'll work harder, right? And the Cloudium, we are going to need those in ingots in order to make our uh, Tier 2 devices, right? But this guy does seem to be moving fairly slowly, doesn't it? If only we could double the production. 
Well, that is actually what the next episode is going to be about. Because what I'm thinking of is, what if we had another drill right here? That same situation. In other words, that's the reason I want the disc open so that I can take the um, so I can take water this way. Because look, this guy is facing this way, right? So if he's facing this way, then that means the water would be coming out through the back, right? Or going in through the back. So if I had a block here and I had some dirt on it, that dirt is certainly lasting a while though, right? Then we could have another drill feeding into it from this side. Of course, we don't actually have another drill and we can't buy another drill. That, of course, means we will have to make one. We're going to have to manufacture another drill if we want to boost production. So that is what we are going to be doing in the next episode. We're going to actually craft a new drill. We're going to bring it over here. We're going to plug it in and we're going to boost production because just look how slow that is going. Can you imagine if they were coming out twice as fast? Now we can also basically boost production uh, of these guys over here. You know, I wish I'd give myself a little bit of space because that way I can make more of these and have more of them in there. I mean, I guess the one thing I could do that would be least messy would be to um, relocate the intake valve. Maybe move it over two blocks in this way, so that way I'd have two more blocks going this way. But I think for now we'll just let it go. By the way, let's take a look at the damage situation. Where is the magnifying glass? Is it around here somewhere? I guess it was behind or something here. Yeah, what did I do with it? It's large. Oh, there it is right there. All right, so how are we doing over here? Okay, 93 and 86. See the way that happens? All right, how about these guys? 55, 58, 44. See, these guys, they take the damage. And the repair actually costs the same for these because you are using one of the spans in the repair kit. However, we are making money, aren't we? We are making money. Are there any little ones? Yeah, there's some little ones in there. But we do need to speed the situation up, right? I mean, this is going to make me some really good ingots over here over time. Um, I do have to keep repairing all three of these. But the thing is, I am going to make more money than I'm going to cost me, right, for maintenance. Especially these guys, if they're already, if they're still in their 90s, then that's just really good right there. And of course, now we're actually going to be able to put really nice gems on the jewelry so they'll sell for a lot more. Hopefully we can get some uh, onyx in there fairly soon. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Now, in the meantime, what I might do is I might go out and get a couple more smelters for these two. Uh, there's no purpose in doing that in video because you've already seen me do that, right? So all I would do is just duplicate what I have here because we do need to get these things going. If I choose to move this, it would be after the next episode because what I want to do is I want to get another drill. I want to see how we craft because after all, that's what we're going to need to do going forward. And then eventually we're going to be crafting the tier two devices and that should be fun. I'm guessing they're more efficient or maybe they just break less. I guess we'll find out. Maybe we can do a side by side comparison or something like that. Although that would be a little bit expensive. I'll probably end up leaving this intact in case I ever need it because I do intend to make enough money so that this setup will be financially insignificant. Anyway, that's going to be it for now. So like I said, next episode, we're probably going to do crafting. So we're going to have to go to the Mines of Mario. At least this game's Mines of Mario. Anyway, thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.